<coughs> Sorry. Good morning. Good allergy filled morning. So guys, today it's Friday. Free to play Friday is a new thing I'm doing. And today we're doing a game called Maria's Room, which got overwhelmingly positive um, reviews on Steam. So, um, without further ado, I'm gonna start the game. It's a narrative, and it's all story- it's very story-rich, all story-based, so... I didn't want to come back. Why would I, after all that's happened, even in here? So, where is the journal? California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. Oh, Is that hold, me? hold oh to zoom. God, okay. The hair. What was I thinking? What are you talking about? It's bright red. Hello. Maybe I'm a little bit biased. All right, whatever. <coughs> Look, Torres. I'm happy he finally got remarried. A honeymoon in the Bahamas. Wish I was there with them. That looks like Francis McDormand. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. So there's the journal. Let me look at some of the other stuff here. Of course I knew it was her. Who else? There was only one thing to do. Get to Marie. She wouldn't talk to me on the phone, so what else could I do? I drove all the way up there to Vancouver. Wow. Freezing my ass off in that tin can of a car. Okay. Hi, yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You were my friend. And I loved you unconditionally. I... Oh crap. Sorry. I want to make sure my Steam <clears throat> chatbot is working. Right now I can't be near you. So I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be alright. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be alright. Peter's got to ruin the, mo the moment. Right? Here he goes. Oh, wow. All right, hold on. I gotta tuck Peter in. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, sorry. Alright. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I know he blamed her for everything. She once asked me, Don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. All right, wait. I should have let this That's play all the way Trevor's through. Phone number. He called her. 
I know he blamed her for everything, though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Hmm. I loved skinny dipping, but Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool after dark. No one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. She loved being a birthday girl. <laughs> Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. I'm not a shadow person. Yeah, it took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. She asked me why I was so angry all the time, and I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt, any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie, my friend Marie, she got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? Mm. I told her I was sorry. But she said it was for me to remind me. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house not long after we met at Food Rescue. He was stabbed, almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while, stitches, concussion. She still had headaches, she said. All right, so... <clears throat> Why do you keep writing this shit? I know there isn't much news in Orange Grove, but it's been ages. Not literally, but you know. They're never going to find them. I wish everyone would just stop. Leave us alone. So I can forget <clears throat> that whole god-awful night. Some think my dad was a hero for trying to stop them. Truth is, we never saw them coming. When that guy jumped and stabbed my dad, something snapped and I would have punched him. Scratched his eyes out, I swear. I think I could have killed him. But the other one got me, got to me before I even knew they were two. I never saw their faces, neither did my dad, so they never caught them. I am not fearless. Uh. All right, so this journal is gonna get filled. Okay, I've calmed down a bit. That La La night, she was with Trevor. And he is such a fucking asshole. She's different when she's around him, not that it makes it all right. But she did come straight over to tell me she was sorry. She knows she was wrong. Broke my window and that, with that damn rock. <clears throat> she said if I'd answered the call of the pebbles, she wouldn't have thrown the rock. She's been here ever since. Doesn't have anywhere else to go, really, except for Trevor. I'm glad she'd rather sleep here. Right now, as I write this, she's on the bed going over some notes from class. I like having her here, here. <clears throat> her here, and Dad's okay with it. She called me her friend today. I'm not a shadow person anymore. She's my friend. <clears throat> Alright, so let me find more of the stuff in this room, and then I'll go back and read this stuff. Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath its skin like fireworks in the setting sun? The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Hmm.
Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. Ooh. I guess I need a, uh, She must have written it down here somewhere. Damn, what's the password again? I need to find it. She must have written it down here somewhere. Yeah, but I'm I wonder if uh hmm. She must have written it down here somewhere. Damn. I'm not what's a shadow. The password again? Crap. All right. <clears throat> I gotta find it. Trevor. What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring is what she said. Her. The weird kid talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter because who wants to be boring? Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. Hmm. I'm so curious uh, to know yeah. the whole story. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Hated that thing. <clears throat> okay. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. Alright, I might have been a little jealous. Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah. I've seen him. Sorry, Matilda so Snorri. An adoring boyfriend, free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. So, let's see how much is in this journal. <clears throat> um, I found one part from Last Hope. I don't know if I can leave this room. Oh, keys. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so I'd feel at home. I loved him for it. But every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. 
When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside, just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. Wow. <clears throat> That's sad. He had money. You see? He bought me things. I was going to wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be. Until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than being hungry. The Green Eatery. Green as in with fungus. <coughs> yes, I'm never eating Ayurvedic lasagna ever again. But some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. I couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one, so we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly, and with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. <laughs> she... I was losing my <clears throat> glamour status at she school. She rode a bike with those right sparkly there. shoes on. I think that's adorable, personally. Oh, wait. That's Trevor's oh, phone number. Did that one. He called her. I need to find the key. Hmm. A five-figure number. Five-figure number. All right. So... I need a password, which I could have sworn was going to be shadow. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. All right, so <clears throat> I need a five digit number Lorraine Marie's mom died when she was five my mother she might as well have been dead she looked more dead than alive anyhow passed out on the couch empty bottles of gin on the floor she's so sad Um, no. All right, let me try the laptop again. She must have written it down here somewhere. Damn, what's hmm. the password again? Like, she said I'm not a shadow anymore, right? <clears throat> she oh, asked me the why I was so angry all that. the time. I'm not shadow, a shadow person. person. Shadow person. That's what it was. All right. <laughs> One day, Seriously? I just had to know what's up with all the cats. She said she admired them that they were who they were without any pretense that they had no fear of confrontation she wanted to be more like them 
when Bumblebee went missing. Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't. That's hear a cute her name for an orange cat. <clears throat> I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. Ooh. Marie, what were you thinking? You know that's illegal. Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? If they had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. Hi, Marie. It grooves me to hear that this is how you feel, but I'm afraid there's not much I can do at this stage. I understand that you are alarmed and feel unsafe, <coughs> but Trevor has not broken any school laws, nor has he hurt anyone. I would like to invite you and Trevor into my office to see if we can start up a conversation between the two of you. Let me know when you're ready to talk. You know where to find me. Kind regards, Principal Phillips J. Oh, no. Oh. Why didn't you tell me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. That's creepy. Been there. All right, so I still need that password. I mean, the um, five-digit code. Um, I mean, I guess I can try five oh five six two two. I didn't see any other numbers. Oh, I can crouch. And I'm really slow when I crouch. <clears throat> I need to find the key. A five-figure number. Is the combination, Marie? Maybe she kept it in here somewhere. She must hmm. have written it down here. So, all right. She must have written it down here. So, <clears throat> let's look through and see. Food rescue. At least I don't have to go through each Could of the be. things when I click it again. I'm not. A there was nothing on the back of that. I remember. <laughs> High skin. I know, right? Just she get a hammer. So angry all the time. Um, sparkly shoes. Pizza boxes. Mr. Torres. Um, unless it's in the journal somewhere. That's Marie's birth. Wait, let me check the back. That's Marie's birthday. No. That's weird. Oh, no, oh, no, no. Yes. That's right. The science project. Of all people, they chose to... Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Peter, I literally just tucked you in, dude. Go lay down. Lorraine, Marie's mom. Okay. Oh, notebook. <clears throat> La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Peter, stop. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. 21418, maybe. We can try that, I guess. 21418. Sometimes it got so hot, this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us.
All right, let's try it. 214, 18. All right, there was nothing in here. Nope. Disgusting. Peter? I need to find the key. A five-figure number. She must have written it down. All right. Peter, stop. <laughs> Mr. Torres loved that beer. After the robbery, he only had a couple left. Apparently, they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. All that happened later that night. I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. All right, let's see if it's maybe in the journal. All right, so let's go to the beginning. All right, <clears throat> food rescue, November 9th, 2017. High school kid saves classmates from hunger. After that school article, people kept asking me why I did it, as if I were some kind of hero. So stupid, and I kept telling them the same story. Uh, when I played the witcher, I got jump scared by a monster, then pushed off a cliff, so I decided to rage quit and watch your stream. <laughs> well, thanks, Skin. I'm glad you're here. Um, and I kept telling them the same story. Aren't they sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book, my life story, so they'll stop bugging me. Crazy people. Here for the last time. Last fall, I caught a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack. As he stuffed the sandwich in his mouth, our eyes locked. He panicked, dropped the food, and ran. I never realized some of my classmates were actually hungry, so I joined Food Rescue to help. There. The end. Everyone satisfied? November 17th, 2017. We had a party today, celebrating three years of Food Rescue. Everyone was there. All those happy, familiar faces. Loved it. Kelsey came in. I never took her for one of the hungry. I don't think she knows my name, but everyone knows hers. She's gorgeous. It surprised me is all. I could see the shame in her eyes when she had to accept the bag of groceries from me. Still, I couldn't take my eyes off her. If this world allows someone like Kelsey Jackson to be hungry, it must be everywhere. So I'm going to fight it with everything I've got. November 21st. Oh my God. They put me on Kelsey's team. My heart races whenever I stop to think about it. Don't think she's all that pleased, though. I wonder whether she remembers me from Food Rescue. God, I hope not. I feel so connected to her. Isn't that weird? I'd love for us to be friends. She's just amazing. Can't wait to start working on our science project. Did you get that? Our project. I feel like I'm going to explode from excitement. It's so cute. December 4th. I screwed up, but I was... St but I'm... St I, but I was worried. I'm still worried, and what else could I do? Kelsey hasn't been to food rescue in a while, and I just wanted to make sure she wasn't hungry or something, so I offered her my sandwich. Oh, why did I do that? Now we'll never be friends. Good one, Marie. Really, really well done. She looked at me like I was crazy and walked out, and now we're behind with the project, too. I hope we make the deadline. <laughs> That's cute. Just stop. Why do you keep writing this shit? I know there isn't much news in Orange Grove, but it's been ages. Not literally, but you know. They are never going to find them. I wish everyone would just stop. Leave us alone so I can forget about that whole god-awful night. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is when they were... The father was stabbed and... Uh, oh, no. Marie... No. Yeah, the father was stabbed and Marie got beat up by robbers. January 5th. We're all just matter. That's what Kelsey keeps saying, and she's right. But matter is also life, and life is something we need to take care of. She likes to be out on a limb. She says she's got nothing to lose. Bam. She didn't even realize what she was saying. Or maybe I'm too sensitive. Guess that'll show me to believe that we were friends. I guess I'm a shadow person after all. I think she's going to break her neck, by the way. See if I care. January 10th. I love cats because they're not afraid to be difficult. <laughs> Neither am I. Happy birthday, Mom. I'm trying to ignore the fact that all of Kelsey's cute stuff is paid for with Trevor's money. He is such a creep. I don't get what she sees in him. She says I'm jealous. As if. Thing is, she thinks she needs him to get away from all of this, but she doesn't. She got away from her mom all on her own. Kelsey's the smartest, coolest, sweetest person you can imagine. She doesn't need anyone to get her out. She can do all that on her own. Too bad she doesn't believe that herself yet. 
February 14th. This is Valentine's Day. Fuck, I'm so stupid. I finally got to see La La Land. They showed it on Classics Night at the theater. I went with Ben, loved it. Kelsey was there too. I was so happy to see her. I actually friggin' hugged her. And she pushed me away, asked me what I thought I was doing. And that Trevor asshole was enjoying the show and her stupid cheerleader friends. I am alone. Oh, how sad. Mickey, have you ever played the game The Wolf Among Us? Uh-huh, I streamed it. I streamed it. It was amazing. Um, I still... Wait, hold on. Let me see something real quick. Okay. Um, it looks like so far I have everything... Um, okay, I've calmed down a bit. That La La night, she was with Trevor, and he is such a... I, I, I hate cursing on my morning streams, but he's such a fucking asshole. She's different when she's around him, not that it makes it all right. But she did come straight over to tell me she was sorry. She knows she was wrong. Broke my window that with that damn rock. She said I, if I'd answer with the call of the pebbles, she wouldn't have thrown the rock. She's been here ever since. Doesn't have anywhere else to go. Okay, read that one already. Oh, those sparkly shoes. She wears them all the time. Last night, the heel dug into my calf. That freaking hurt. Have you seen those heels? Size nine. So I yanked them off her feet and told her not in bed. She was amused. I can't think why. To be honest, I wish I was a size nine because they look absolutely gorgeous. On Kelsey's feet, at least. When I tried them on, I looked like a little girl trying on mommy's shoes. You may have noticed, sweet journal, that there are less and less F words in these pages. I'm so friggin' proud. Ha. Huh? Only when I go berserk, like when Kelsey threw that rock from my window, then it's hard to keep up. Did you know that as a little girl, I used to curse abundantly, trying to extend my vocabulary here? Dad thought it indicated intelligence, and I guess it looked cute up to a certain age, but he said Mom hated it, so every time I used the F word, he made me put a piece of candy in the swear jar. Can't tell you how much that hurt every time, because I'd never see it again. I think he secretly ate it. <laughs> He must, he must have rejoiced. Yep, vocabulary extension again. Every time I swore like a madman. Mad woman. Must have. She called me her friend today. I'm not a shadow person anymore. She's my friend. I'm so congested today. I'm sorry. Kelsey is so angry at the world. Like, all the time. It's kind of annoying, but I get it. We all have a different story to tell. So as a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told her she could do anything she wanted. She just had to make it happen, not wait for it. I told her to deal again. <laughs> not drugs, the cards. Kelsey broke up with Trevor, finally. She can do so much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in the school hallway. Of course no one saw it happen, but he literally tore the clothes from her body. F. I promise not to swear, so there you go. But she's done with him now. Things can only get better. April 13th. I think he's crazy. He keeps calling me at the most impossible hours just to yell at me, calling me names, threatening me, threatening me that if I don't let Kelsey go, he'll do this or that, as if I've got her tied up here. I now unplug the phone when I go to sleep. Oh, wait. I hit back. I didn't mean to. Uh, today was a good day. Only five emails from Trevor. Only five. I hope he's finally getting it. She's not coming back. He really holds me responsible for it. I can handle that, and if it keeps him away from her... When I saw him in the hallway this morning, he slid his fingers across his throat again. If he wasn't such a scary-ass clown, I'd laugh. But he does scare me. I don't tell Kelsey these things. She shouldn't worry. I wonder if there's, like, more stuff that has to go down here. Kelsey took me night swimming in Mr. Jones's pool. It's It was scared. I was scared shitless the first time. But, ah, two beers and freshly picked oranges. Chill. Best nights ever. <clears throat> June 7th took me forever to convince Kelsey to ride a bike because it ain't cool. Our rides are the best part of the day now, and on this day we rode them through Mr. Jones's orange grove in broad daylight. We got home with a basket full of juiciest of the juiciest golden oranges. God, I would love to pick fresh oranges. I didn't even think about getting caught. June 12th, they're not listening. I've tried every authority at school. I even tried the cops, but they just patted my shoulder. Poor little girl, still traumatized. Bump on the head didn't do her any good. Then she drops the F-bomb. Yes, I'm swearing now. A jar full of candy. What should I do? I wish I could tell Kelsey, but she'd go insane and get herself hurt or worse, go back to him. Trevor is dangerous. Oh, there's Bumblebee. I know it's him and there's nothing I can do. They never believe me. I don't think I'll ever see Bumblebee again. 
June 30th. I can't sit and watch. I'll have to be fearless. I found this site <clears throat> where you can buy guns off anyone. Not that I mean to shoot anyone. It's just... I don't know what to do anymore. It's for protection, you know? Isn't that what they say? Anyway, there was this guy who wanted to sell me this totally new 9mm. I'm meeting him out of town somewhere. A little shady, I admit, but with Trevor lurking around, I'll take my chances. June 30th. There's been another home invasion just two blocks from here. They killed a woman this time, and the police think it's Trevor. Suppose it was him in our house. I can't wrap my head around it. It's too big. But Kelsey says it isn't true, that Trevor is a bastard but would never commit such violent acts. Looking at that torn t-shirt, I think she might be in denial there. I did it. I hope I'm not going to regret this. Hmm. We needed this. Beer, water, and oranges, like so many nights before Trevor. No, I am not going to let him spoil my night at the pool with Kelsey. He who shall not be named shall not be named. Not today. Okay, well that didn't give me the code. Hmm. So I'm definitely missing something or many things. I wore those a lot, not to protect my eyes, but to hide them. I didn't want anyone to know. I don't remember if I clicked this. She was my friend, and I had to tell her. So I came back here, throwing stones at the window. But she didn't react, so I threw a bigger stone, <clears> and it shattered the glass. She kept the stone as a souvenir to remind her not to trust me ever again. Did I do? Oh yeah, yeah. I La La Land. These are the good times that make me forget. All the trouble seems so far away. Wait a minute, isn't that a song? Um. Oh yeah, this is the broken window. <clears throat> I feel out of place everywhere outside this room. She said she was sorry, I know. But I feel like I'm walking on eggshells and that's not what a friendship should be like, right? I feel disconnected. She did not want to be my friend. She was embarrassed. And I think that was... Those are the only two things I found, right? Okay. I don't see this number anywhere! Suit, shopping bags. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. I'm gonna get those ready. I'll get the bike helmet. Got the doormat. <clears throat> Look at the keys. The 
I've got the takeout menu. I guess those are mirrors. Looked at the pizza boxes. Looked at the smoking jar, looked at the stone. I already turned that on. I looked at the phone. I looked at the Rubik's Cube. It didn't say much Hated though. that thing. Yeah, it was a... I looked at the paper. I know. <clears throat> as soon as I hear music like that, I'm like, oh, there it goes with the copyright. Yeah, they just give you a notice telling you you can't monetize. That's all. It's no big deal. Poster. I did that already. Bike basket. Did that. Whiteboard. Did that. Like, this is all you can do to look closer. That's it. Unless I, did I miss something in the laptop, maybe? No, right? I have the kitty gif. And that didn't do anything. One day, I just... When... Marie, what were you thinking? Why does someone need to get no. hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? And there's nothing here. If I had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. Um, yeah, you can do it with only with no. things that you've picked up. Why didn't you tell me? So, Marie? like, I um, so frightened. I'll show you, you like, these sheets of paper. I can That's pick Marie's that up. Birthday. That's weird. And do this. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. But I've done it with everything I was able to pick up. You can't pick everything up. Only some things. Um, so like... I have this. I'm not a shadow person. Right. Yeah. And then, like, in here. She asked me why I was so angry all the time. Uh, and I... Didn't you pick up the movie ticket? Oh, did I not look on the back of it? Let's see. I thought I did. La La Land. Yeah, nothing. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor sucked. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Three. Four. Nine. Five. One. What is the code, Marie? Wait. The journal. It must be in the journal. Yay. That was it. Kelsey. Oh, oh shit. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawking said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. 
but she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time, and she was ruining it, so I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed, and that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor, right there in the room, he'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool, and he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me, but still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I Trevor was, explain, um, but she wasn't listening. She the girl who's talking, been there her boyfriend. Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration. No, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, he wow. left the house. And we got caught by Mr. Torres but I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly wow. injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... I what do you think you remember? is not necessarily what really happened or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. Oh, hold on.
Hold on. All right, press J to read journal. Um, oh, okay, so the journal is full. And now there's this. I regret food rescue. I regret the science project. I regret it all. My father could have died because of me and my inability to pick real friends. Kelsey never was who she said she was. I never really knew her, it turned out. It's all been bullshit and I'm so stupid. I should have realized it that la la night and walked away for good. Because someone died right in this room, I made him die. I pulled the trigger, maybe a bullet pierce, made a bullet pierce his head, made his blood soak the carpet, drip through the cracks in the floor where it will remain forever. To bear witness to what I'm capable of, I can't stay here. Am I the same me? I don't know anymore. I have to fix this. Fix me. Hey. Away from her. I have to focus on the positives in my life and stop questioning myself. Why did she do it? Why do I do it? Why did I do it? Did I deserve this? Am I an evil person? A killer? I shot him in the head for Christ's sake. I could have gone for his leg. Dad calls them intrusive thoughts. I say they're the truth. I'm stronger than I look. I can do this. I will go up north to Uncle George, as Dad suggested. Nice and cool up there. I'll be able to think and finish high school. I'm leaving this journal here because I need a clean slate and fresh pages. I'm sorry. Dear diary, maybe I'll send for you someday when all of this is long over and I've dealt with being a murderer. What, more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. her parents' room. <laughs> Skin. <laughs> so that was it. They ended up being friends in the end. That was a pretty nice, short game. Really great story. Um, this was pretty cool. This was a nice, free-to-play game. Um... You know, this was this was pretty neat. The art is nice. I'm gonna see if there's any like little bonus things at the end of the credits and everything, but that was pretty cool. The art was really nice. The story was great. Um, nice and deep, real nice narrative. Um, this was pretty cool. Really nice for a free game. I, I recommend it. Thank you for playing. Well, thank you for making it. Very, very cool. All right. Well, that's it for my... Exactly. A nice emotional fuck over in just under an hour. Yeah. Yeah. No, this was good. All right, cool. So that ends my free-to-play Friday. Um, that was my game for today. Got to figure out what game I'm going to play next week. There's a lot of them, so it's not like there's a shortage. Um, I might stream again in a little while. I'm going to be playing some ARC. Um, we're trying to get our base looking good and add some stuff to it. Skin came in yesterday and painted a bunch of my animals. Um, so yeah, I might stream some more today. We'll see. But uh, thanks everybody for watching. You guys are fantastic. Mwah, I love you. Thank you for your, thank you for, uh, thank you for your support. Oh, and I'll be on tonight. Um, but I don't know what I'm playing. I think I'm playing more of the seventh guest. Because I didn't finish it last night, did I? I didn't. I got so tired. So I'll be playing more of that tonight on Twitch, though. Mickey Rand plays. All right, bye, guys.